In order to create a home page through PIM Core Admin, we first need to create an empty document. We are doing this on a locally set up PIM Core demo, and that's why you can see a bunch of documents already created here on the left side. Let's create our home page here under EN, right click it, go to Add Page, and choose blank. We will call it Home Page. Immediately you can see that we got some default content, but we will not worry about that since we will make our own configuration. We will do that by going to the tab SEO and Settings and down to Controller, Action and Template. As the name suggests, here we choose our controller, the action inside of it and the template. The names you will see here will depend on your local code naturally, but here in PIM Core Demo we will choose the Content Controller and inside of it the portal action. We don't need to choose the template if its name is the same as the name of the action, and that's exactly the case here, so we are leaving it blank. After that, click Save and Publish, and let's see what we've got. We'll go back to the Edit tab, reload the page, and now we can see that our page looks a bit different than before. But before we continue with adding more stuff to our page, let's first check the preview mode and also how it actually looks in the browser. The preview mode is this tab right next to the edit tab. If we click on it, we can see how the page will actually look in the browser. And also we can check how it will look on different devices like desktop, tablet and phone. And now let's check how our home page actually looks like in the browser itself. From the URL I'm currently on, you can see that my local PIM Core Demo setup is on pimcoredemo.log. So in order to access our home page, we just need to append its path that is visible on the left side in PIM Core Documents. That is where we put it under EN and with name home page. So the result is pimcoredemo.log slash en slash home page. We've seen how our home page currently looks like in the browser, so let's go back to editing it. Now, the reason we immediately got some content inside our blank home page is because it's defined in the portal template we chose for it. You can see that we've got the navigation bar, the drop-down select that asks for the number of slides and the big white area at the bottom that is actually the space for the footer. Let's first fix our navigation and footer before adding any actual content to the page. Go to Navigation and Properties tab and here you can see that we can add some custom properties to our page. We need to add navigation root property and also footer since they are required by our portal template and its action. Naturally, this configuration will depend on your action and template. If you use your own controller or action, or even just the template, you can define any property you want and need. In our case, the first property we need is called navigation root, and it represents the document that serves as the root of the navigation bar. That is, its children will be displayed in the navigation. We put it its name, navigation underscore root, choose the type document and add it. What's left is to drag and drop the document to the value column. We will choose for example the EN from the left side. Click on save and publish and now after we reload the page the navigation should be filled with the children of our chosen document. Here we can see all of them. Find an order, magazine, news, events, more stuff, and even our own home page. If you don't want that, we can fix it by going back to the Navigation and Properties tab and selecting Exclude from Navigation on the right side. Again, Save and Publish, Reload, and we don't see our home page here. And for the content that's displayed on the navigation bar, as we've said, those are the children of EN here. The only difference is 
that the find and buy is actually called find and order. And that's because on its own navigation and properties, its name is set to that of find and order. Now let's also put the footer. We go back to the navigation and properties tab and add a new property called footer and its type document. Again, we need to find the actual footer document we want. Here it's located under en shared includes footer. We drag and drop it and save. Reload the page and now we can see that the footer area is filled with the data from our footer document. Let's take a moment to see how the footer document itself is structured. Under SEO and settings, we can see that it has its own template called footer.html.twig and it's under includes folder. The footer consists of a fully customizable list of pin core links and each pin core link has its text which is displayed and its path it leads to when we click on it. For example, this first one, it leads to en, find and buy, popular brands. And we click on it, it will lead us to this page. Now, if you want, we can add a new PIMCOR link anywhere we want. And PIMCOR link is just one of many PIMCOR editables. Again, if we go into its details, we can set the text we want to be displayed, the path we want to lead to when we click on it. And if we don't need it, we can just delete it. If you want to see how our home page with the footer and navigation actually looks like at the moment, we can again check that under preview tab or directly in the browser by just reloading the page. Now let's go back to the edit mode and start adding the content to our page. We'll start with the slider that we got with our template. First, let's choose the number of slides, for example, two. After that, let's add a background picture for it. We can find one under Assets, Sample Content, Example Images, and simply drag and drop it. Now let's fill the text fields. As their placeholders say, the first one acts as a headline and the second one as a summary. I will just copy and paste the text that was already on the home page of PIMCOR demo. So this will be our headline and this will be our summary. Under the text, you can see that we also have a PIMCOR link editable waiting to be filled. So let's do that. For the text, I will again use the old text from PIMCOR demo. And for the path, we can take the find and buy page. Now, before we see how our home page currently looks in the browser, let's quickly fill in the necessary data for the second slide. Again, we need a picture from assets, for example, this one. This will be our headline. And this will be our summary. Again, for the link, we have the text and the path that will lead us, for example, to the magazine document. Save and publish. And now we can go and see how everything looks like. 
So we have our slider here with two slides and the content we filled in in the administration. Also, we can click on the button so we can see some different pages. For example, this is the products page. And this is the magazine page. Now let's go back to the edit mode and continue adding the content to our page. As you can see here, we've got an area block. And by opening it, we can see which bricks we are allowed to place here. Let's choose the standard teaser brick. Here you can see that we have a space for title, so let's immediately fill that in. For example, with this. Next, we have three drop-down selects in which we can choose the type of content we want to put in. Let's choose the snippet for the first one. In PIMCore demo, we already have some snippets created, so let's go find them under EN Shared Teasers. If we hover over it, we can see that this document is of type snippet, and if we click on it, we can see how it actually looks like. This one is made of a picture, a text, and a link. And if we go to its settings, we can see that its layout is defined in the standard teaser.html.twig template. Let's go back to our home page and simply drag and drop this snippet. For the type of our middle item, let's choose direct. In this case, we need to directly define the background all of the text and the link. The background we can find again in the assets. And let's just take a random image. As for the text, I will again copy and paste the content that can be found on the PIMCore demo page. So this is our headline, this is our summary, and for the button we have the text, and for the path we can choose news. We still have one more item left, so for its type, let's choose News. As the placeholder suggests, let's drag and drop a new subject here. We can find one under Data Objects and News Folder. For example, let's take this one. We are done with filling the content of this brick, so let's save and publish and go check it out in the browser. And now let's go back to edit mode and add one more brick. We need to click on the right green button in order to add another brick below this one. For its type, we will choose Hero Grid. Let's add space for two items. We need to find two images in assets that you would like to display here. So let's go to Sample Content, Background Images, and take, for example, number one and number three. Now we can also see what these items consist of. For the text, I will again copy and paste some content from the PIMCore demo page. So we will have these headlines. And these subheadlines. headlines 
for the links we will use documents from en more stuff and landing pages let's save and publish and go and take a look at our home page This is our newly added content, the hero grid, and inside of it, the whole areas act as links to other pages. For example, this one leads to the Volkswagen, and this one leads to Ford. With this, we have finished customizing our home page through PIMCore administration.